Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I have a Topshop try on haul to share with you guys, and I'm really excited to introduce a new brand here on my channel. Most of these pieces in today's video will be under $100 available at Nordstrom, and this video is not sponsored or anything, but I will be working with Nordstrom later this month sharing my favorite Topshop look from today's video. So I would love for you to let me know your favorite down in the comments. That may be the one I end up featuring, but definitely check out strawberrychicblog.com at the end of the month to see what I ended up going with. So during the Nordstrom anniversary sale, I purchased three different sweaters or cardigans all from Topshop. And that's when I started like looking through what else they had. And I was so impressed, ordered way too many things and I wanted to share it with you guys in today's video. All right. So here is the first outfit. Everything but my pearl wrap bracelet is from Topshop. So starting with this top, I love how girly this is. It's a very unique piece with lots of really pretty details from the pleats to the cold shoulder and then the buttons, all the Swiss dots. Like I'm just a big fan of it. It's very comfortable. I do have a neutral halogen cami underneath. I will link that as well in the description box. As far as sizing, it definitely runs big. I think it's meant to be oversized. I like it to be flowy especially when you just balance it out with skinnier jeans, but you can definitely size down in this and be totally safe. I'm wearing a size six here and there's plenty of room. If you wanted it to be a little more fitted, you could tie this a little tighter, but I kind of like the flowy fit of it. So these buttons are functional. This ties here and then I just think the little shoulder detail is really cute. This would be a cute little date night outfit. This bag is one of my favorite things that I purchased. I originally bought a different snake print bag. I will share it, but this one is by far the best bag of the bunch that I purchased. Snake print is going to be so popular this fall, but I only like it in little, you know, pops of animal print. And I just adore this one between the like horn, like tortoise detail on the strap and then just the cute little closure of it. I think this is adorable. So one of my favorite buys, I think it's right around 50 bucks. These dark skinny jeans are top shop as well. These are like a more stiff, like suck you in type of denim. They're not super stretchy. And I did cuff them at the bottom just to dress it down a little bit. They have a raw hemline. They're like just on the verge of being too long. So I do like the tuck a little bit better. I'm about 5'5". Five five. And then these shoes are probably another favorite of the haul. I just love the triple strap across the foot. It's very flattering. And then the blocked heel is also very low and comfortable. They're definitely easy to walk in. And I love that they're a subtle pink. They're almost like a neutral. So I would wear these with almost anything. And even though it's like a sandal, I would totally wear these into the fall time. Oh, going back to the jeans, I also forgot to mention they are high rise. They are over my belly button and they fit really good in the bootay. I don't know why I said it like that, um, but I'm wearing a size six. If you are in between sizes, I would size up in them like the, these hug me and I have no extra room. Super cute. And then just to show you guys my bracelet, um, I wear these with pretty much everything. This is the pearl wrap from Victoria Emerson. A lot of times you can find these like BOGO free. So. All right. So I think this is a great first look. I feel like it's going to be hard to beat, but I'm up for the challenge. All right, here is another adorable look. I have a feeling it's going to be between these two or I'll just end up featuring both somehow <laughs> cheating the system. Um, so I actually wore this in my FabFitFun unboxing. I was just so in love with it. I'll talk about this clutch first just so I could put it down. This does come with a long gold chain if you want to wear it crossbody, but I like it as a clutch for date night. I think it's really cute. So it has like a croc embossing and then I love the tortoise detail and it comes with a long gold chain strap. All right, the details on this top is just adorable. I absolutely love all of the pleats and it's still flattering. Like sometimes pleats can just be too overwhelming, but this hangs really well and just kind of flows out. I just think it's adorable. It's more of like a creamy color, so you can totally wear this into the fall time. I actually styled it for fall in the Like to Know It app a couple weeks ago, so I'll link that down below. Um, if you're not already following me in the app, that's like the best place to shop because I share like daily looks and tons of things that's not on Instagram. The shirt itself is sheer, so I have that same cami underneath it. 
and then the sleeves end up being a little more sheer. So I just love all of the girly ruffle details, the pleats. It's just such an adorable little top, one of my favorites. And then I hope my camera picks it up, but the shoulders, like the top half is actually has like a beaded detail, which makes it look so much more expensive than it actually is. So I kept on the same jeans and the same sandals, but like I said, I did style this for fall over in the Like to Know It app. And then because I'm not super familiar with Topshop, I was a little worried that it was gonna be more like European sizing where it runs small, so I went ahead and ordered a size eight, but I would have been totally fine in a six as well. So this cardigan I purchased in the Nordstrom anniversary sale and it's back in stock in all sizes, I believe. I did size down to an extra small, but it's one of my favorites from my Nordstrom haul. I wore it with Spanx leather leggings. It was one of like the most popular looks that I share. Um, I just love how comfy and casual it is and it's a great layering piece because it has like the cutouts on the side. So if you want to wear like some really cool shirt underneath, you can kind of see it poking through. And I just like this color too. I think this is the oatmeal color. So underneath that I have on this Topshop lace cami. It's a really pretty color. So it's a little bit different in the fact that it has like the lace come down in a V shape through here. It's kind of hard for my camera to pick that up. And then this is like a satiny shiny material with the lace overlay through there. I did a little front tuck. I'll link my little fashion hacks video here so you can see how I do that. That was a messy job but same jeans, same sandals. You can even, like once it gets cooler, throw on booties with this, but early fall, you could totally wear these sandals just to stay a little bit cooler. And then that snake bag, which I love this. It's such a little cutie. So here is a head to toe neutral look for fall. This sweater comes in three colors. I was torn on getting the pink or this camel color, and I'm glad I went with the camel, but I do also think the pink's really cute too. Um, this is just a really good neutral that I could not pass it up. I have on a fall hat. This is from Brixton and I think it's actually available still this year. I got this one last year. The same little snake print bag to add some like texture and print to this outfit. And then these booties I got in the Nordstrom sale. They I don't know if they're available, but there is a version from Steve Madden that I'll also link in case they're not. And, oh, I did not mention, super important, when it comes to sweaters, we don't play, we don't even bother if it's itchy. This one's not itchy at all. It's very warm, so I could not wear this <laughs> in early fall, but it will definitely be very warm and nice to have when it does cool down. I would also layer like a striped shirt underneath it so it's poking out of the side. And so yeah, it's not scratchy at all, not itchy, very comfortable. All right, so this is pretty much the exact same sweater as the last one, it just has the cute color blocking. So same fit, same arms and everything. I did cuff mine, if you're wondering, if you get yours and it's long. Um, I just did like a thick cuff there to make it a little more flattering. I love the color blocking in this. A lot of time color blocking is just too busy for me or I just not into all of the colors this one they like basically made it for me I love all the neutrals with the little pop of pink there and then I threw on these little flats these are from Walmart and I just love the little bow detail I would wear these with booties as well I just wanted to kind of mix it up make this a little more casual with flats in case you're not into wearing booties with every single outfit um, since this has the gray there I brought it in with these cute little flats I love this color blocking so so much it's really cute so for this casual look i threw my hair up into a high ponytail with a little scrunchie just to get it off my neck with this oversized type of coat i just felt like my hair was just a little much so i think it's much cuter with a ponytail especially with the cute little sporty platform sneakers i styled these originally in my target try on haul so if you want to see how i styled them there then i'll link that here I do love the little pop of rose gold and they are very comfortable. They're not like super hard to walk in as platform shoes can definitely be. So I think this is really cute little casual look for errands or just hanging out. As for the jacket, it definitely runs big. This is a size small. I know it's meant to be oversized, but it's just probably a little too big for like how I would wear it. I do love the color. I think it's like the perfect shade of pink. 
Underneath that I have this cute little graphic tee. It is cropped, which I'm not typically a fan of. I intended, I bought it with the intentions of going with a skirt, so I'll put that on a little bit later because I knew it was cropped. But it's super cute. Like I like how the sleeve is a little bit smaller and tighter. I think that's really flattering. All right, so this is how I intended to wear this shirt because I did know it was cropped and the skirt was a definite must. Um, this color keeps selling out, but it does come in three colors total. I, of course, love this neutral color. Um, if it is sold out, I will also link other options too. If you're wanting this color, I found one kind of similar on Amazon. I paired it with booties, and then this is the other snake bag that I was talking about, but I am going to return this one because I do like the other bag more. This one's a lot, not as functional, and it's just kind of hard to get in and out of because you do have to loop it through, and it is very teeny tiny, but it's good if you have like a wedding to go to or something and just want something very small with still a little bit of like pop there. I kept my hair up. I feel like it kind of looks cute and retro with this outfit. And this is a size 8 in this tee. I'm glad I went with a size 8 in this one. So, so far sizing has been a little bit everywhere with Topshop because some things like run big, some things run small. So definitely I will put all the sizing for everything that I featured with the links down below. This is super cute. I love this skirt. I'll be styling this multiple ways on my blog because I've already picked up like four or five little midi skirts. So stay tuned for that video if you want to see how to make it work in your wardrobe. Right, so here is that same skirt dressed for when it gets even cooler. How am I supposed to pick a favorite, you guys? Like I'm loving all of these pieces. So this sweater is so pretty. I can't even explain the color. I actually thought it was going to be like neutral, but in person, it's like the prettiest soft pink color. Um, this is more of like a monochromatic look, which I really love if you're wondering how to do light and airy in the fall. So I paired it with this Urban Outfitters hat. This is a dupe for like lack of color, which you've been seeing a lot. I don't own any lack of color hats because they're very expensive. This one's 44 bucks. I got so distracted because I literally love everything. But back to the sweater. So I just tucked it in here. You could also like do a knot and knot it up. And then this bag is just the perfect pop of print even though everything's super neutral. This is how I would kind of add this snake print in just for a little texture. Oh my gosh, makes me so excited. <laughs> so here is how you could wear that graphic tee to work. These paper bag shorts are very trendy. I like this like terracotta color. I have a love-hate relationship with paper bag shorts or pants that like have this tie waist because honestly I can never tie it as cute as it comes. And so I tried to squeeze these on without untying it but it just wasn't going to happen. So this is what we're left with. I'm sure I could play with it and make it look a little better but yeah, that's my one. I don't know. It's just like user error I guess. But the pants overall fit really well. They are nice and comfortable and stretchy. So they'd be a great option for work. And then these loafers are like giving me major, major like Gucci vibes. They're not, they're from H&M. Um, but just with that logo down there, I feel like they look very Gucci inspired, I guess. If you get super cold at work, you could throw a cardigan over this. You can also wear a dressier blouse, of course, but I just had this shirt on so I thought I would style it a few different ways for you guys and as far as the pants I think this is a size 6 but I'll link the exact size down in the description box alright so these pants are not very fall they are a linen blend but they were on sale and I just had to see them in person I couldn't pass them up I think the button detail is really cute and I'm wearing a size 4 I ordered a 4 and a 6 and I think the 4 was the best fit the 6 worked too but it was just it was hanging a little bit and I did want it to be fitted on my waistline so I'm not the most comfortable in like statement pants or like super flared pants but something about these are just very easy and flattering I love where they hit on the ankle you can still see your full shoe there I'm wearing this tank top this is also from Topshop but so because these pants like if I tucked this tank top into these pants you would have just seen it bunching through there so I actually used Another one of my fashion hacks, I think I've mentioned that multiple times here, but I will link it 
right here so you can see but I also was just gonna talk you guys through it so I actually just knotted the back with one of those clear hair ties that I use so much and then I just tucked it under that way it looks like it's tucked in but it's actually just like pulled back and then tucked under so I hope that makes sense <laughs> It's the hack in the video where I show how to make a baggy shirt a little more flattering. I did the same thing. Brought back the same little cutie I'm obsessed with. I'm sorry in advance that I'm going to be wearing this a lot this fall. And then these basic sandals pretty much go with everything. But I think this is a really cute end of summer look. These pants are really kind of out of my comfort zone. But I just love them. So I feel like Top Shop's like... I'm definitely on my radar from now on because I've loved so many of these pieces. All right, you guys, that's everything that I have to share with you today from Topshop. I would love for you to let me know your favorite look down in the comments below. That may be the one I end up featuring over on my blog. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video.